Welcome back. Just came out early today. Got started early. Uh, it's been clouding up lately. Took off some of the sheet metal as you can see. Uh, if you have one of these you'll see the hood comes off real easy. It just has two pivots on each end and then the, the latches on it. Easy enough. Uh, the grill shell was mostly off of this already from previous owner. I suppose when they pulled out the motor and transmission they took off the grill shell. So I only had a couple bolts to take off on that part. Uh, I'm going to go underneath right now and show you what I have going on under there and then hope to get this front end out of here today. Here we go again. It's been a few days of rain, so I made it back out here. You could say I'm back to the front, so I'm about to get this front end out of here. Did have a little bit of trouble. I uh, had to cut one bolt off, which wasn't too bad. So right now, I only have a couple bolts holding this front end in. There are these two guys right here. And same thing on the opposite side. All the others are out. There's a bonus bolt here at this little corner plate. And then uh, quite a few of the smaller ones along the cross member. So now I'm looking at the brakes. Uh, I mentioned that earlier, we got a mechanical braking system with some linkage that goes to some cables. Comes over here, back side of the hub. There's a mechanical system here. It's got an adjuster on it for the cam. And one of the disadvantages of these, which is why they switched, is this linkage just goes back to that rod that pivots on the frame. If you can see that, you can also see that if you run something over, you can certainly bend that linkage. Well, that one there's pretty bent. Uh, I'll be taking that off probably right there where it's connected. But right now I'm going to go ahead and take this piece off because it's closest to the front end where I want to drop it. Uh, this thing's got a jam nut on it here. I'm going to thread that out. I've already loosened this guy here. And then that should come apart. I may just go ahead and drop the front end and leave that hanging because that's far enough back it'll just kind of be hanging down and then i'll get over there and get that loose so that's where this is at today You're getting real close are off. Down to the last two bolts. One on this side, one on the other side. Really front heavy. I'm guessing it's just going to flop off of here. There's that one. This ought to be fun.
Okay, front end is out. That thing is heavy. Some of you are maybe wondering, you know, why I take out this old stuff and put in some stuff that's, well, not as old, but still quite old. Uh, the answer's pretty simple. Uh, those, those 47 to uh, 54 Chevy pickups are pretty common and parts are really available. Uh, the entire aftermarket has got everything you need. Uh, that thing's really heavy. This little eye beam here with the leaf spring is going to be a lot lighter. It's the truck stuff, but they make disc brake conversions. Um, you can get all the brake stuff, all the wheel bearings, steering components, pretty much everything. Uh, I paid $250 for front end, the rear end, and the drive shaft, so I'll have hydraulic brakes. I'll think about putting discs on it, maybe later. Uh, for now, I just kind of want to get all the pieces moved into their place. I'm going to get this lined up. Uh, I do have my parts on order for doing my leaf spring mounts. I will have to temporarily mount them, though, because until I get weight on this, I won't know where to mount the front shackle side, so I'll probably line things up. I may go ahead and connect the rear leaf spring side. Now the shackles are actually going to be up front here. So I'll have to kind of size things up, but then I need to get some weight on it so that I can see where the neutral point is going to be uh, for mounting that front connector for the shackles. So that'll be kind of another project. I do have the motor transmission, but it means i got to sort of put them together and put them in as a mock-up. A lot of effort for a mock-up, but we'll see. One step at a time. So I'm glad that's out. It wasn't too bad. Actually, I only had to cut one bolt. And, uh, well, see you next time. Thanks for watching.